Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Joe Jones. You're watching the Cup of Joe Show. I want to give a uh, big hello to everybody out there that's watching me and a big thank you for watching me. This video is in case you missed my live yesterday. Um, there was a big announcement that I had made. I wanted to uh, make an official video just to uh, get you caught up on what, what's going on in my life and stuff like that. Um, so as I said yesterday, um, I've kind of been absent from YouTube, so I apologize for that. I got really, really sick for like a week and a half. Um, I'm not sure if it was COVID or what it was, but uh, I felt like I was dying. Um, after that, my mom has COVID right now, so just keep her in your prayers, guys. Um, my uncle has COVID as well. A lot of people in my family have COVID. Uh, but that is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to talk to you guys about what is going on. Um, so first I want to start off by saying this shirt that you may be seeing me in. Of course you're seeing me in it because I'm wearing it. Um, this is the shirt I got to basically play the role of Johnny. That's right guys. So a, a few months ago, um, about eight months ago, I had first told you guys that I was going to be trying to make... A different cowboy a movie or a mini series something like that and we're just one step closer because my big announcement is uh and also i'm coming to you guys from my iphone uh, i think this is an iphone se or xs or something like that i'm not i'm not really sure what i have but uh so if the picture quality is a little different that's because my sony zv1 is in the shop so i'm not filming with that anymore instead i've got a black magic pocket cinema so we can actually make the movie a different cowboy or actually it's going to be a little mini series for youtube uh this is a very professional camera it also uh came with a case that i took off oh there that goes <laughs> piece of the screw broke it didn't break it fell out whatever uh, but, um, it comes with a cage on it. I took the cage off this morning so I could figure out, you know, kind of how to work it and stuff. Also the guy I bought it from, uh, he gave me this speed booster. Um, I guess it's supposed to just make the, hello. Woo. I don't know. It's supposed, it's supposed to, um, make the, the shot better. It's supposed to widen the lens or something like that. So got a speed booster for it. Um, still got to get a microphone for it. Uh, there's just a couple other things, a monitor up here, some more filming. I can actually see what's going on. I will be playing the role of Johnny. As I said, uh, this will be pretty much what I wear, um, through the, at least through the first episode. I'm sure I'll change clothes. Um, but probably in the first episode, I'll be wearing this. It's kind of like 1800s, uh, vintage look. I looked it up on Amazon and bought it. Uh, I'll probably have a, a scarf around here and probably some suspenders. I know how all these ladies like suspenders, so I've been told. So, uh, yeah, and that's also a kind of a retro thing. Um, also, this hat, it'll probably be the same style, but I'll have to get like a felt hat, maybe like a tan one or something, kind of roughen it up a little bit, make it look like I'm a rough, tough old cowboy, probably get a, a bigger mustache, stuff like that. Um... I'm also going to be playing the role of Sam because I thought about it. I was going to have Justin do it, but uh, we're probably just going to have him play other characters. So I will be doubling as Sam in the movie because no one else can do the Sam voice as good as me. And uh, it just wouldn't feel right if anybody else was Sam, you know. Uh, so we're going to have to play Sam as well. But, uh, so I'll be Johnny and Sam. I'll probably put on a gray mustache, you know. Uh, just make myself look kind of old, something like that. So, But it's going to be great. Um... So right now we are basically looking, I'm looking at filming locations, stuff like that, while I'm trying to raise the money to get the camera set up. Uh, also trying to get some money to get the costumes for everybody. Um, right now I'm paying for everything out of my pocket, so bear with me. Um, you know, uh, if you guys would like to donate or something like that, I think I'm going to start a GoFundMe, which will be in the link in the description. Uh, also, I'll put my cash app in the link of the description, so... If you guys want to donate a little something, you know, you can drop it in there and every dime will go to the production of this little mini series. Um, with that being said, 
we are also i can't do every single scene as it is in the book obviously i can't just drive to arizona though at least not on this budget not right now <laughs> so uh i can't be filming you know tucson arizona when they go to tucson and stuff but we are going to try to incorporate every scene that i can financially afford and physically get to that location to do that scene um we are looking at some western cabins that you can rent out uh here in texas and it's like two or three hundred dollars a night so we're probably going to go with that and that'll kind of be like tessa's house that johnny moves in with her there we'll be shooting most of it there so every time we shoot it'll be costing like 300 a night something like that but um also we're looking at some free places so it's not you know so financially of a burden uh we'll be looking at some places my mom just moved into this new barn where she put her horses there's a big pasture out there we're going to be using her horse named cheyenne that will be the horse that is uh playing the role of ranger um and like i said you know i'm trying to find actors that i can kind of hire you know and put in this movie uh, maybe some people that have some vintage clothing or something like that. I don't know anybody that um, is even interested in being in this movie right now. Um, so maybe if you're in the DFW area and you want to be in this movie or you know somebody that would want to be in this movie, you know, just drop in the comments and be like, hey, when you start filming, maybe you want to stop by and be in a scene or two. Something like that would be really helpful. Um, but other than that, guys, I just wanted to, you know, get on here and just let you know that it is going to happen. It is, you know, a lot closer to happening than uh, than what I originally planned. I had planned on this happening in like another year or so. But, you know, I guess God just had different plans. This opportunity came to me. Uh, this camera was a really good price. Um, like I said, I didn't even know about this camera. I was working for a filmmaker. We were doing an edition in his attic and he just happened to say, hey, I'm a filmmaker. I make commercials, I've made movies, I do a lot of documentaries. And I asked him, do you, is there a cinematic camera you would recommend that's affordable? And he recommended the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema. That's what this is. And uh, he said it's the best camera for the price. And also this camera, you can use DaVinci Resolve with it. So we can also do color grading and stuff like that. That's also something I've never done with any of my short films or any of my videos. I've never color graded. Um, so we're going to make it look very, very professional, very Hollywood-like. So, you know, this movie is something I'm very passionate about, or this miniseries. I keep, I keep calling it a movie, but um, it'll be a miniseries. And like I said, uh, we're going to try to get as far as we can with it. Hopefully when we start shooting, it gets a lot of views. And um, just from the views and stuff, hopefully that can bring in some more money to help us keep finding different locations to keep this little miniseries going. Because as you guys know, we finished chapter, uh, well, we finished the first book of A Different Cowboy, and now I'm on the second book, which um, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering, where's chapter nine? I'm halfway through with it. Um, it should be coming out hopefully this week. I just have to find the time to do it. Been super busy, um, but, you know, I got to have a clear mind and sit down and just really let the, <clears throat> let the excuse me, let the imagination kind of, you know, take me where it wants to go and just kind of type up. <clears throat> I don't, like I always say, I don't want to rush through chap chapters and I don't want it to be just a dry chapter. I try to make every chapter where there's like a lot of drama and it's, you know, I'm, so I'm pretty passionate about this. I want to make it right. Um, so just bear with me. Um, but other than that, you know, I just want, I'm just really excited to tell you guys about this camera, you know, uh, really uh, also, um, it's not just going to be a different cowboy that we're making. We're also looking into making, uh, four little short films for the month of October. Um, kind of like horror films. It's going to be something to do with Halloween. I, I really like Halloween. It's one of my favorite, um, uh, times of year. So we're going to be trying to do something kind of spooky in that sense. Maybe we're thinking about doing a video called the cabin. Justin has a cabin, uh, out in the country part of Texas. I've never been to on a farm so might be doing something along those lines coming up we're bouncing off some ideas with some other people and stuff right now um another one we were supposed to do last year was called um the hourglass sorry it was called the hourglass so we're going to be trying to incorporate that 
So we got a lot of short films coming up, a lot of movies that we're, we're working on right now, a lot of scripts and stuff. So like I said, just bear with us. I've got to get the money for a lens. I can't start shooting anything until I get a lens for this. And they're, from what I see, pretty expensive. So, um, you know, got to get a lens, got to get a microphone, got to get the whole camera rig set up. And then we will be able to uh, start this mini series. So just wanted to stop by and let you guys know what's going on. Uh, let me get, let me know what you think about the, uh, the shirt. I really like it. I think it's pretty sexy, but, uh, let me know what you think about the costume. Um, you know, and, uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for all your views. Please make sure you're sharing all my videos. So it helps the algorithm like my videos, comment, you know, that is uh, one way you can help support the channel. Um, more views. It just, it just definitely helps out. Uh, but until then, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Joe Jones, this is the Cup of Joe Show, and this has just been your Daily Dosage.